Hey, and welcome to another video here at Computer Cat Gaming. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the Dell Dimension 2400, which is a lower end desktop machine released back in 2004. Also, I want to thank you guys for over 300 subscribers. It really means a lot to me, you guys. But hey, let's not get lost in that. And well, let's find out what this little metallic box got on the inside. Well, it contains an LGA 478 Intel Celeron processor, which is clocked at 2.6 gigahertz. It also got an 80 gigabyte IDE hard drive. And then we got a DDR SD RAM stick with 512 megabytes of memory, which will be enough for the games this thing will run. But well, here's the biggest drawback with this machine. It contains a very bad integrated Intel graphics chip. Which I mean it, it's very very bad. It got the Intel 845G chipset, which uses the Intel Extreme Graphics Drivers series, which I prefer to call the Intel Extremely Bad Graphics. But oh wait, that wasn't the only bad thing about the graphics. Well, Dell decided to cut costs by removing the AGP slot, so the only way to upgrade the graphics on this computer is to either A, use a PCI graphics card, or B, soldering on a AGP slot to the motherboard and then flashing a different BIOS that actually can use the AGP slot. <sighs> Dell. So here's the question, can it game? Well of course it can, but how well can it run games which are slightly older than this PC? And uh, oh also, for some odd reason it had graphical artifacts all over the screen when running LEGO Racers on Windows XP. But weirdly enough, the game acted just normal when I was experimenting with Windows 98 a while ago. So I guess it has something to do with the different drivers. Though I was not able to find a way to make it work properly on Windows XP yet. So well, without further ado, let's check out how well this Dell Dimension handled these games.
Okay, I gotta say that these results were rather disappointing, and several games were not even playable. And okay, after all, this PC was a low-end budget machine, but this would be a totally different story if I added a PCI graphics card, which I recently got, by the way. So I will be working on an update video to see how big differences will be and what capabilities the Dimension 2400 will get. So well, that was everything for today. And guys, remember to stay awesome. Bye bye.